House of Love. And welcome to our host, Miss Stella Flay. <laughs> well, hello. What a relief to be out here. It's hotter backstage than a Bunsen burner. It must be all that chemistry going on. Now, People are always asking me, what is the secret of good chemistry? Why is it that some elements meet and there's no chemistry between them? And with others, bang, it's a love reaction. <laughs> what we need is to consult the love table. Gregory? Ah, the love table. Known to the less romantic as the periodic table of elements. To find out what it has in store for us, it's over to the queen of romance herself. Thank you, Gregory. <laughs> well, hello, boys, and welcome to all three of you gorgeous fellas. Ciao, Ben. <laughs> now, let's start with you, number 11. Tell us who you are and where you come from. My name is Sodium. I live in the Upper West Side, you know, quite high up in Group 1. At number 11. Do you know it, Stella? Well, we all know that, don't we, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> don't the alkali metals live there? It's on the mean side of the table where all the rough lads hang out. <laughs> now, Sodium, a little bird tells me that you don't have any trouble with the ladies. Am I right? Hmm. Loads of women seem attracted to me, Stella, but they're only after one thing. My earring. Ooh, is that an engagement ring? No, it's an electron ring, and I'm saving it for the element of my dream. <laughs> so, tell us, Sodium, what do you do in your spare time? I love a water sport, Stella. This is Sodium having a fizzing time in water. He whizzes around, gets sizzling hot, and releases hydrogen. A reactive metal indeed. <laughs> well, we certainly hope you have a splashing time, Sodium. <laughs> uh, crawling along to you, number 12. Tell the viewers who you are and where you're from. Stella, baby. Hi, the name's Magnesium. Oh. MG to my friends. Basically, I hang around in group two at... Number 12. And what sort of element are you looking for today? Well, the babes I dig for are usually found in group 7. They're kind of off the wall and highly reactive, especially the ones at the top of the group. <laughs> Mind you, I hear that you can be a bit hot-headed yourself. In fact, I've got a video here to prove it. Magnesium is on the spoon and oxygen is in the jar. A truly wild and fiery union to make magnesium oxide. Oh, Ooh, cracking hot. <laughs> and last but by no means least, welcome to the show number 13. Tell us what's your name and what do you do? My name's Aluminium, though most people call me Al. Now I make planes, airplanes. <laughs> oh yes, of course you do, pet. <laughs> but that's not all you can do, is it? I also make drinking cans and cooking foil. Oh, we saucepans. <laughs> <laughs> I get that, girls. Wouldn't it be lovely to have a handyman in the kitchen? Where do you live, Al? I live at number 13, group 3. It's a big block with a real mixed crowd. A few metal boys and some... <laughs> Pretty interesting non-metal girls. <laughs> <laughs> a new word for them. Interesting. Anyone in particular that you've been drawn to? I'm afraid to say, Stella, they're not exactly falling at my feet. I did once have a date oh. with a girl called Bromine, but I'm afraid she was a little too, shall we say, reactive. <laughs> <laughs> Chemistry or what? Mind you, she nearly ate you alive. So, let's see if we can sort you out with someone a little more to your taste. So, good luck to all three boys. <laughs> so, let's waste no more time and meet the lucky girl who's been listening to our three gorgeous blokes. Welcome to the show, Doreen Clory. <laughs> You look absolutely gorgeous, and look at all those fabulous rings, but the vital one is missing. That's why I'm here today. So where do you live, love? Well, I live in a very nice area, right next to the Noble Gases at number 17 in Group 7. Ooh, very posh. <laughs> now, excuse me for saying, but that's a very unusual outfit. Well, I wouldn't expect you to appreciate it, Stella. It's polyvinyl chloride, PVC to you. Anyway, I make most of my own clothes. You see, I have to, as I go through them so quickly. So I see. Oh, what? Hong, that's a powerful perfume you're wearing. It smells of 
swimming pools. Oh, it ain't a perfume. It's my natural body odour. <laughs> now, you've been listening backstage to what the lads have said. What sort of metal of man are you looking for today? Well, Stella, I like my men lean and mean, but I need someone who can give me commitment, so I'm looking for a very special ring. Oh, oh yeah. And I like my men to be very romantic. But don't bother sending her flowers, lads. Take one red rose and a jar of chlorine, and what do you get? A bleached white rose for a bleached blonde babe. Well, I don't promise you romance, but I can promise you that we've got three lovely fellas to choose from. So, give us your question. Here goes. You probably wouldn't like me when I'm upset because I can kill a man at 40 paces without even touching him. Well, she's not joking either. And I certainly believe in expressing myself. What do you do to express yourself? And that question goes to number 11. If I need to work myself into a frenzy, there's a nothing I'm more exciting than a walk in the open air. As soon as I get close to oxygen, I'm a fired up and are ready for anything. Here's another metal that likes to have a gas. Sodium burns in oxygen to make a very stable relationship of white sodium oxide. So, if you were to choose me, we could do a lot of mm, bonding together. That's one way to air your feelings. The same question to number 12. Hello, baby. Well, I love to work out when I'm really hot. I like to slip into the sauna. Oh. The steam just gets to me and I glow with excitement. <laughs> First, take magnesium ribbon. Apply heat and add steam. And what do you get out of this great glow? White powdery magnesium oxide. And the gas, hydrogen. And when you put a flame to it, it goes Baby, if I was to get the huts for you, I'd make sure we got real steamy together. How could you refuse an offer like that? And finally, the same question to number 13. Believe it or not, I'm a bit of a gar underneath it all. And if given the chance, I like to throw off all my clothes and really get back to nature. <laughs> I think we better run that video now. This is aluminium, dipped in acid, no reaction. Allow blue copper chloride solution to strip off the protective coat and dip it in acid again. This time, it fizzes with fun. Well, Doreen, you've heard their answers, so it's make your mind up time. But don't tell us just yet, because our Gregory's got to do his reminder. So, Doreen Chlorine, will you choose number 11, Sodium, who, despite being a rough, tough guy from Group 1, is a bit of a softy and promises to give you his all-important electron ring? Or will it be number 12, Magnesium? He definitely wants to get hot and steamy with you, so will he light your fire or just turn out to be another hothead? <laughs> or will you choose number 13, Aluminium? Unlucky for some, but he's keen to fly away with you, and after all, he is a knight in shining armour. Doreen, the choice is yours. <laughs> so, Doreen, put the boys out of their misery. <laughs> Which of them is it going to be? Well, I'm very drawn to number 12, but I think it's going to have to be number 11, oh. sodium. <laughs> <laughs> so, what about the two that you turned down? Now, there was number 13, and it was unlucky for him. Come and meet Chlorine Aluminium, love. <laughs> And you also turned down number 12, even though you said you were quite drawn to him, coming number 12. <laughs> <What's funny? laughs> I still think that you made the right choice. Oh, well, what do you think? He's gorgeous. <laughs> and I think that we'd better bring in the lucky lad who you've picked for your date tonight, coming number 11. <laughs> Thank you. 
And here's a union made in heaven. This is hot sodium. When he bonds with chlorine, his bleach babe, they burn with passion and make sodium chloride. Love at first sight. Now that's what I call chemistry. I love it when that happens. See you after the break when our lad Lithium from Group 1 has to choose from one of these lovely elements. <laughs> Take lithium, top of the alkali metals, cuts with a knife and reacts with water. Take sodium, cuts easier with a knife and reacts more vigorously with water. And then there's potassium, softer still and even more reactive in water. And finally there's rubidium. So soft, it's liquid on a hot day. Just one drop in water can cause quite a stir. And now, the replay. <laughs> Welcome back. And let's waste no more time as we meet the three lovely non-metal ladies who are hoping to be chosen by today's lucky metallic fella. <laughs> Well, look at you, contestant number eight. You look absolutely gorgeous. What are you called and where do you come from? Hi, Stella. <laughs> My name's Oxygen, though people just call me O. Oh. Oh. Mm, where do I live? Well, I live everywhere and nowhere. Basically, Stella, wherever you find life, you'll find me. But oxygen, tell us where your earthbound home is. Right. Well, my earthbound house is number eight, Upper East Side in Group Six. That's in between groups five and seven. <laughs> now, I understand that you once worked with the fire brigade, but you weren't very popular. Why? Well, I just can't bear to see things dying, even flames. So every time someone would put out a fire, I'd come along and relight it. Oh dear, number eight. What sort of element attracts you? I'm not fussy, really. There was someone called Phosphorus recently, and we really got on. <laughs> Our bloke had better watch out if he chooses you, number eight. <laughs> He'd better watch out in case she bores him to death. Oh, pardon us, madam. Now, number nine, tell us your name and where are you from? My name is Florine. I live on the Upper East Side, where all the girls know how to look after themselves. And I am the leader of Group 7. And what sort of element do you go for? I'll react with anything. In fact... I'd say I'm everyone's dream date. OK, Miss Perfect, but I think you've got a few nasty little habits, and take a look at this. Yes, if it's viciousness you're after, then Florine is the girl for you. She will light your cigarette without a match and smoke it before you get a chance to draw breath. Now, that's what I call a quick fag. Ooh. Moving swiftly on to you, number ten, tell us where you come from and a bit about yourself. Oh, it's my turn. You can call me Noble Neon. I live at number 10 in Group Zero, where all noble gases reside. Well, we're on it, I'm sure. And what do you do, Noble Neon? I don't really do anything. I just am. Oh, nice. So, what sort of partner are you looking for today? Do you seriously think I would be looking for a partner? I wouldn't look for one, even if I wanted one, which I don't. I'm quite happy on my own. I have a perfect set of electrons, the perfect octet. Well, don't mind me for asking, but what exactly have you come on the show for? Well, I spend all my time making other people famous, putting their name in lights. And I thought it was time for me to grab my own three minutes. Affair. Well, let's meet the lad who's going to choose from these three lovely ladies and what a tough job he's got. <laughs> you lads like your hair oil, don't oh, you? Oh. <laughs> Despite our reputation, we reactive battles are just a bunch of softies. We have to keep ourselves well oiled <laughs> to keep the air off our skin. That way, we stay soft. Shiny. Oh, I 
see. Now, tell us, what are you called and where are you from? Well, my full name is Lithium, but my friends call me Lee. I live at the top of group one at number three. Where all the cool guys hang out. <laughs> and don't we know it? We've had a few of your neighbors on today. <laughs> and you had my ideal partner on, Chlorine. Oh, I wish I had a chance to get together with her. Then you would see some real chemistry. Now, what's your question, love? I'm very fond of parties because it gives me a chance to show off my party tricks. <laughs> if I were to invite you to my party, what trick would you do to impress me? And that question goes to number eight. Hi, Ali. I love parties too. My friends say I'm a real gas. And as I've got a great pair of lungs, my trick would be to sing you my favorite song. I'm your desire, don't leave me. Don't give up your day job, oh. Let's move on, Lithium. The same question to number nine. If you want to see my party trick, I'd advise you to tell your other guests to stand well back. Watch this. Fluorine and a hydrogen balloon. Fluorine and cotton wool. Sulfur dropped into fluorine gas. And finally, iodine in fluorine. I hope you're well insured, love. <laughs> I'll move on. And uh, some question to number 10, please. What was the question? What is your party trick? I don't do party tricks. I'm a noble gas. She doesn't do anything. But anyway, it's make your mind up time, Lee. So here's our Gregory to give us a quick reminder of all three of our look. <laughs> all three girls. Well, Lithium, will you choose contestant number eight, Oxygen, who says she'll be a breath of fresh air in your life and promises to relight your fire? Or will it be number nine, Feisty Fluorine, who guarantees a date with her will be a gas, but cannot guarantee you will survive the evening? Or perhaps you'll choose Noble Neon, who will light up her own life, but will she want to light up yours? Lithium, the choice is yours. So who's it going to be, Lee? <laughs> I was tempted by number nine, but she's a bit too scary. Hmm? So I'm going to jump for the high life and choose number ten. After all, it's not every day I get to go out with noble gas. Well, <laughs> let's meet the two that you turned down. First, our nature-loving number eight, floating our oxygen. <laughs> of fresh air. Mm, too late now, though, love. She's gone, and here's another one that's gone. <laughs> well, I think you had a lucky escape, love, but here's your date, the Noble Neon. I think I'll go and find Chlorine before she gets the bus home. Oh, poor lithium. Now that was an example of no reaction. So remember, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to know the secrets of good chemistry, consult the love table.